A stencil can be cut from any material, for instance plywood or specialised oiled paper or the new development now is a sheet of plastic which can be cut with a hot pen. We grid and draw up the pattern to be repeated on the stencil or we print it on the computer and then we can put the plastic sheet of mylar over the top and cut directly through with a hot pen. You need a sheet of glass in between the pattern and the mylar plastic. I'm going to show you how we use stencils within our environment. The one that I'm specifically going to show is how we use it to make wallpaper. So what we do is we cut a stencil and um, then apply it to canvas, which we quite often put on the floor. You can use stencils for no end of things, really. We use them for all different reasons, sometimes for floor tiles. So I started initially with a wet blend of the base colour to make it look like it slightly had a light reflection on it. I then sprayed in with a yellow because I wanted to offset it a bit so it had a slight highlight and it makes it look slightly three-dimensional, which quite often wallpaper can be. In between doing the colours, you have to then take the stencil off your piece carefully so it doesn't run and dry it off and give it a clean. Sometimes the holes can get a bit clogged up as the paint dries. Then I came in with two different reds on the background, which again give the effect of slight sheen and light because you've got that difference in the colour. What we usually do is have the stencil gridded in a way so there's little nicks taken out of it so you can actually move it along and make it marry up quite nicely with the next one. And you can, you can do a whole floor, you can do the biggest, uh, the whole frame if you wanted, you could fill.